Good morning all and welcome to Training Tuesday. My name is Caleb Craig, Director here at Advanced Piping Systems and every week we bring you some tips and tricks and a few technical characteristics all the way through to uh, training in the field um, around the subject of polyethylene piping fittings. A, a piping material that we truly believe is the best piping material in the world. Um, today we're going to be focusing on some very simple factors that are critical to success uh, when you're designing and, and specifying a polyethylene piping system and making sure that we all understand uh, what language uh, to speak around sizing with polyethylene. So today I've got here a 160mm stub flange. So very common um, product in the market. This is a very good molded product here. And 160mm, what that refers to is the outside diameter. So all polyethylene piping is spoken about in outside diameter. So if you call up a a supplier company or if you're talking about it in the field or you're setting up a butt welder, the clamps on a butt welder will be called 160mm clamps. Uh, a coupler in the industry will be called a 160mm coupler. That's the outside diameter of the parent pipe. Now nominal bore is a term that's used fairly loosely um, in the piping industry. What that refers to is roughly the internal diameter of a particular pipe. Now with differing um, materials and wall thicknesses, that becomes a very iffy um, term. So what we tend to like to think about is inside diameter or, or ID. So OD and ID. Now obviously if you take the ID away from the OD and divide it by two, that gives you your wall thickness. Now wall thickness in polyethylene is critical as it is with all um, piping materials because it specifies um, what the pressure rating of that particular pipe is, or the PN rating. So in polyethylene, um, this uh, piece of material we have here is PN16, um, and the PN refers to basically bar, so it's 16 bar rated as a working pressure, or 1600 kPa, um, if you prefer to talk in kPa. So we've got OD, ID, wall thickness, and PN rating. Now, how do you know what PN rating is if you don't have any markings on the product? Well, that's what's referred to as SDR or standard dimension ratio. So the SDR is a common theme. So you've got SDR 11 is PN 16, that never changes. So if you know that SDR 11 is PN 16, you know what the pressure rating of this pipe is. And how you work that out is you take the wall thickness so this will be roughly 14.5 mil. And then you divide the OD by the wall thickness. And that will give you 11 or SDR 11, which is P in 16. So there we have it. That's the basics of, of polyethylene sizing. OD, ID, wall thickness, PN rating and SDR. If you can understand all those, you're miles ahead of most of the field. So well done and look forward to seeing you again on the next Training Tuesday.